is the voice of disruption. I'm Ken Rakowski, and this is The Voice of Disruption, where we meet people that are disrupting the planet. And joining me is somebody who I've known for almost two decades. It's William Quigley. William, sure. you and I uh, met uh, in the early, actually late 90s. Yes. And you're just coming out of this company called Idealabs. Yes. Tell me about right. Idealabs. So Idealab was the, uh, the first internet incubator of that internet era, 95 to kind of 2000. It really introduced, I think, the incubation concept that you know you go into a place, you come up with ideas, you work with a team, and you get out fast. Rapid development, all the agile programming stuff that you you read about now, a lot of that stuff was being done at Idealab, and Idealab was powerful, like a builder of tons of companies. We we and and rapidly getting them out. Huge right? companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean the internet really was incubated inside Idealabs. It, it, you, some ways to figure about it. Well, look, think about this. The concept that Google uses to rank searches based on what you pay, pay for place uh, performance, Idealab invented that. Did you need your Harvard uh, business school background and all the stuff you did at Disney to really understand what was happening at Idealab? I or? think it was incredibly beneficial. Yeah. Yeah, because, uh, you know, at, at, at Harvard Business School, you read cases. Every day you read a case or multiple cases, and it gives you a business problem. And then, but there's never a solution that's obvious and whatnot. And you just sort of discuss it with your classmates and think about the best approach. And there's multiple approaches that can work, right? Yeah. That was the incubation process. Hey, we should build something like this. As you went through Idealab, then you became uh, one of the partners of one of the most successful venture capitalist firms on yes. the West Coast yes. uh, called um, Clearstone. Clearstone Ventures. Yes. And some of the companies, besides PayPal, I mean, you got deep yeah. in a lot of the, uh, I would yeah. say, the underbelly, the success of the internet. MP3.com, oh, NetZero, yeah, right. eToys. You were in the center of all those. E-Music, uh, tons of them. Yeah, yeah. So I know a lot of VCs that stay as VCs. Now you're in this new direction that's pretty powerful. Everything around blockchain, cryptocurrency, um, even gaming too. Video gaming, yeah. So I guess I get excited when I see somebody that um, has a little more, you've got gray hair. The gray hair shows that you've gone through a lot of those, those yeah. wars, those ups and downs, and you know where you see success and you know where there's consistency. Yeah. And you being involved in this, I guess, it adds more legitimacy to this. So, well, thank you for saying that. I will tell you, I'm involved in blockchain-based businesses because I see the impact they're going to have. Mm -hmm. And mainly on today, existing sorts of behaviors and, and businesses. Uh, how do you send money today? You might send it with PayPal. You might send it with Skrill. You might use Venmo. Uh, the first kind of business coming out of the blockchain was just moving money from point A to point B. We call that a Bitcoin. But now there's not just one coin. There's actually several thousand coins, and these coins do specific things for specific industries. So last thing before we go, again, William Quigley is joining us. What specific area are you excited about? I mean, you just made it look like it's huge. It's like the internet itself. It is. Where's your focus? Well, let me tell you, when we started Idealab Capital Partners, our, our incubator uh, venture capital firm, we decided, look, we're not just gonna focus on the internet. By the way, at the time, no one thought it was even worthwhile to focus on the internet overall. We said, we're gonna focus on a slice of the internet, which was the consumer portion of the internet. Well, I look at the blockchain at this point, it's big enough and there's enough ideas percolating. You cannot just say, I'm gonna do all things on a blockchain. It's like saying, I'm gonna do all things on the internet. It's too, it's too distributed. Instead, I look at the, the, uh, the integration of e-commerce and the blockchain. So anything that e-commerce companies do, I want to see if there's a better way to do it, adding the blockchain component to it. It's sort of like when mobile came along. You could be a, a company like Facebook or Amazon and say, hey, we're not going to like change everything we do, but there's some things that are better done on that mobile device. Well, there are some things better done if you're an e-commerce company using the blockchain. For me, as you mentioned, I'm really into the video game industry. I'm the CEO of a company called Opskins, and Opskins is the world's largest marketplace for buying and selling digital items. And that's a giant market. $50 billion a year is spent back and forth buying and selling these digital items. The blockchain adds an ability to make that industry even bigger. And of the 400 million people today who trade items back and forth, they're going to have a much easier time doing it using technologies that me and my partners are bringing. I love that. Uh, called Wax. Wax the name of the platform. Uh, Waxtoken.com. 
We are taking that platform and we're saying, let's merge it with the trading of digital items so that people can trade them much easier, cheaper, and grow the market overall. Because a lot more people will want to trade them with the security of the blockchain. So let me make sure I get the, uh, the resume right. Uh, Harvard Business School, yeah. right? Venture capitalists, yeah. intellectual, uh, uh, you ran an intellectual group over at uh, Disney. I was, I, uh, uh, I was the uh, chief financial officer of Disney licensing. You got to see the ups and downs of the internet. You know where trends are and all your focus today is in this blockchain. Yes. This is what you're excited about the more than anything. Blockchain and video gaming. Impressive. William, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you. This is Voice of Disruption, Ken Rakowski. William Quigley has been joining us. Watch what he's doing and the platform he's working on. He's certainly a disruptor. Thanks a lot for being part of the show.